What's up guys, Nashki here and welcome back to my channel. So today's vlog episode is very important and very timely because we're going to talk about the novel coronavirus. In particular, how to protect yourself from it. And of course, we'll also discuss its origin, its symptoms, how you can treat it, and of course, how you can protect yourself from getting it. So let's not wait any longer. Let's get down to business because it's about to get nasty. <laughs> So let's start with the background. Where did this come from? So the new coronavirus, also called the 2019 NCOV or novel coronavirus, was identified in late 2019 in Wuhan, which is the capital of Hubei province in China. So it has similarities to SARS or the severe acute respiratory syndrome and bad coronaviruses when looking at its genetic sequences. There's also evidence of human-to-human -human transmission and as of this moment, there are more than 12,000 people infected with the said virus across 27 territories including the Philippines which have two confirmed cases wherein we had one death. The good news is that there are at least 10 of them who recovered and were discharged. And on January 30, 2020, the World Health Organization declared that the novel coronavirus is a public health emergency of international concern. So if you have traveled to Wuhan, China from December 1, 2019 up to this moment, then you better get yourself tested just to be sure. What are the symptoms of the novel coronavirus? So one is runny nose, headache, dry cough, fever, fatigue, sore throat, breathing difficulties or shortness of breath, decrease in white blood cells, decrease in kidney function, or not necessary that you have all these symptoms. It's also possible that you are asymptomatic. You're not really displaying any of the said symptoms, but you could still test positive for the said virus. And of course, severe infection may result in pneumonia, kidney failure, or worse, death. But the good news is that you can always have yourself tested through respiratory or blood samples. And results are usually available within hours if you probably live in a first world country or days if you live in the Philippines. Because for now, I think we're still having the samples tested in another country. So how do you manage or treat the novel coronavirus? As of the moment, there's no effective and official medication or vaccine to treat or kill the said virus. But of course, development efforts are underway. You can always relieve symptoms by buying over-the-counter flu medications, couple it with drinking lots of fluids, you know, hydrating yourself, and getting sufficient amount of sleep or rest. Probably in severe cases, they would require oxygen therapy, intravenous fluids, or respiratory support. And for the rest of us who are not yet infected, what are some tips to prevent the spread of the novel coronavirus? How can you protect yourself and your loved ones from getting the 2019 and cough? Number one, wear a face mask. So what kind of mask? So the first thing that comes to mind is the surgical mask, this one. Just put it on your ears and then cover your nose. Make sure that it fits properly up until your chin. So there. And make sure that the colored side is on the outside. If available, you can also wear the N95 mask here. So this is more effective, especially against like dust particles. There's also a mask made of cloth. You can also opt 
for that one which is reusable but I would not recommend that you use the paper mask. So what's the rationale behind it? You know when you sneeze or when you cough of course you expel body fluids, droplets of water in the air so that's what you don't want to transmit to other people and vice versa of course you don't want to get it from other people as well. Number two, wash your hands. Wash your hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. If not available, then you can opt for a hand sanitizer or alcohol. Also, don't touch your eyes when you haven't cleaned your hands yet. Number three, use spray disinfectants like Lysol, Detol. Like spray it inside your room on items that you usually use on doorknobs, anything that you want to disinfect, use it because it really helps a lot. In cooler countries, you can also opt to wear gloves. Number four is to boost your immune system. So take lots of vitamins, multivitamins, vitamin C. You should hydrate properly, drink lots of fluid. You should get a good amount of sleep. So sleep well, rest well. Remember most of those who died from NCOV are the sick and elderly. Most of them had either diabetes, hypertension, cardiovascular diseases, or those who are immunocompromised. Number five, avoid crowded places at all costs unless necessary. So given you're wearing masks because you don't want to get infected, you don't want to get the virus from other people, so why go to places with lots of people? So if it's possible to avoid these places, then do so. So in line with that, when you meet people, avoid handshakes, kissing them on the cheek, or any physical contact with them. Number six, when eating, make sure you thoroughly cook eggs and meat. We all know that the coronavirus most likely originated from animals, in particular bats. You should observe proper food handling. You should avoid contact with live or wild animals. You should also avoid going to animal markets if possible. Lastly, this one's like obvious. Don't go to places with confirmed novel coronavirus cases. Of course, that would mean mainland China, parts of Hong Kong and Macau, and of course, some parts of various countries with known coronavirus cases. So since we don't know which specific parts are these, it's always best to observe these safety precautions. Remember, the fight against the Nova coronavirus is it's our fight. It's the world against this virus. And we hope that sooner or later, a vaccine could be developed or if not, at least a cure. And that we're all in this together. Let's pray for China. Let's pray for all the other countries who have known cases of the said virus. And always protect yourself and your loved ones. So thank you so much guys for tuning in. I hope you learned a lot from this vlog episode. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and also don't forget to hit the notification bell. Only here on the channel where Nashti is nice, I'm Nashti, till then.